So we've met the vector equation of a line, r is equal to a plus lambda b. Um, you can also write the equation of a line in Cartesian form. So with x, y, and z for three dimensions, OK? Um, so let's say, let's put this into um, a column vector form. So we know that r is x, y, z. And let's say that a is a1, a2, a3. And then you've got lambda lots of b, so b1, b2, b3. OK, so from that, you could then have a top, middle and bottom equation. OK, so you've got x equals a1 plus lambda b1 and you've got y equals a2 plus lambda b2 and z is equal to a3 plus oh, lambda b3. Now... Effectively, this links back to um, the parametric equations, OK? Because effectively what I have are three equations, x, y, and z, that are written in terms of a parameter, lambda. So what I want to do is I want to rearrange these to eliminate lambda, eliminate the parameter. So it's like going from two parametric equations to a single Cartesian equation, but this time we're going from three to one, okay? So what I could do is, because each of them has a lambda involved, I could rearrange each of them to get lambda equals. So lambda is equal to x minus a1 over b1. So take a1 from both sides, divide both sides by b1, and lambda here would be equal to y minus a2 over b2, and for this one I'd have lambda is um, z minus a3 over b3. And so if all the lambdas have to be the same, then all three of these bits have to be the same. So x minus a1 over b1, must be equal to y minus a2 over b2, and that must be equal to z minus a3 over b3. And this is the Cartesian equation of a three-dimensional straight line. Okay? Now, it's quite cumbersome to use. Okay? So, uh, in the majority of cases, we don't really use it that often. Um, it's not very easily manipulated, but it is definitely worthwhile knowing. Um, now, this begs an obvious question. Um, what happens if either b1 or b2 or b3 or more um, is equal to zero? Okay. So, um, if that is the case, so let's say that in this case uh, b1, b2 and b3 are non-zero. If one of them was zero, like that one, then in actual fact what you would have is you'd have x is equal to a1 plus, well, nothing. And so you wouldn't be able to rearrange this to get lambda equals because there is no lambda. Okay. So instead, you would be able to rearrange these two, and you'd be able to say that y minus a2 over b2 is the same as z minus a3 over b3, but you'd have to have a separate bit saying, well, x is equal to a1, and then you've got that bit. So as I said, it doesn't really look very nice whatsoever. OK? Um, but it's still, as I said, it's something that really you need to know underlying uh, vectors. But thankfully, in uh, uh, the majority of cases, this isn't used. Uh, so it is worth knowing in the sense that there is this alternative form, but it is much easier to work with vectors, uh, uh, 
sorry, equations of lines in this vector form rather than in their Cartesian form.